Hey everybody, welcome back to Doge Lucky Plays Magic Site. We are still working on the gin, the gin run, uh, where we have to take out the boss, uh, but only the boss and nothing else. Uh, last run, I can't remember. I think we got a good one, and then we got to the boss, and what happened is, one sec, yeah, we're recording. What happened is, once we got to the boss, uh, we got a, like a really bad spawn in a lot of flying enemies and uh, Ooh, one sec. What do we do for our For our bonuses we need to check that Variant three God's beard Go here boom boom Get the stats right Come on And then we're going to go Potion Brewer, right? I think that's the best way to go. Potion Brewer and Golden Chest. But we're going for a... Probably attack this time. Ooh, yeah. I don't know why we have Spawn Zombie. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm mixed up. Uh, multiplayer. Single player. Race. Because we want to go attack. That last time we went Dexterity, it didn't. It didn't work because you can't get high dexterity without killing stuff. So we want something high attack. Um, I think the highest attack is either Bandicoot or Spirit. And Spirit has more health, so probably Spirit. And then the Helm, so we don't take as much damage. And. We can't level up, so this one's useless. Hmm. Yeah, probably flying, I guess. Well, it'll be important for us to fly because we have to take him out. Um, and it's easier to dodge his stuff if you're not, like, in his way. Gather a potion brewer. We don't really need the golden chest for this because... Um... What do we want? We want high attack, high HP. There we go. Create. Yeah, this should be a little bit better. Remember, we can't hit anything. Um, I guess we're, we're kind of looking to get a little bit of uh, materials to mine with. But it's not worth risking killing a pig over. You know, we gotta be, gotta be P to safe this episode. Protect the animals. All is good, except for the big centipede at the end. Yeah, that was not worth it. And there's that one. So, a lot of this is going to be cruising along. Taking out some shrooms. Ugh. Yeah, come on, pig. You gotta move. You gotta move or else you're gonna get hit. I think we one-shot him at this point right now, so... Gotta be really careful around that. Okay, what do we have? We have some stone, enough to make a stone pick. Get ourselves a little upgrade here. Um, there we go. Wasn't working there for a second. I got worried. Today, what's on my docket besides Magic Site is uh, was oh yeah, I'm gonna go try to find a TV, like a or a monitor of some sort, because. Moving into the university on August 20-something, 21st or 26th, I don't remember. And uh, I'm living with two other guys who both, they both do a little bit of gaming. And sometimes we like to, uh, you know, triple up. So we're all playing games, but on different monitors and stuff. And it's not till this year that we've actually been able to do that. Uh, we usually just played on the same one. But since, you know, they came out with all these games, PUBG, um, Fortnite even, all these Battle Royale games are just survival games where you can't play them split screen. So, oh, do we get enough? We did get enough for an Iron Knight pick. Whatever. It is what it is at this point. Um, but anyways, we each got the capability to play different games on separate screens but still play together. And, uh... Unfortunately, 
we don't really have enough screens. We'd have to like scrounge around, use TVs, and I'd have to bring like a monitor from home, and it was just kind of a pain. So we're going to find another monitor or something. And honestly, I'd like to get a second monitor, because when I used to do stuff from my laptop, I could hook the monitor I have now up to my laptop and have two screens. Why are we so low in health? Just gonna start with full health. Anyways, um, used to be able to hook it up to my laptop and have two screens, but now that I have a desktop. I don't, I'm not entirely sure how to use my laptop as just a screen. Um, and I, I've tried it a few times and still haven't been able to figure it out. So, so yeah, uh, it would be nice to get a second monitor if I can find one. And stuff on Greg's list, not to mention, is so cheap. It's like. 60 bucks for a 32 inch TV or something. 50 bucks maybe. And oh, hello. At least it's not 4 damage, right? Um, and then for something like a monitor, you can get down to like 20 bucks. So, real nice. Hopefully. As long as it works, it's nice, right? We can't kill food mobs, so we gotta kinda keep a move on here. Make ourselves full iron everything. Well, except for... Uh, yeah, no, we can't. I was gonna say, we can make shield as well, but not quite to that level yet. Here. Oh, dang it. Well, we got an axe now. And we got a pick. Okay. Uh, any potions? Yes, potions. We can sell this guy our stones and these we don't need anymore I don't think we're gonna need that uh, we don't need this or this or these so get both potions all three potions actually we're not gonna use them all right now we're gonna use one big one and then conserve the other one Gold down there that I want, and a chest. It could be double good, um, so we're going for it. So that fire starter could be helpful. Uh, gold no longer worth it. I was hoping for a total biscuit or something, but you, know, you can't always get what you ask for. And there's a crab rock. Just like never getting hit by a crab rock, that's not something we can ever get, so it seems. Bam. Got the gold. I don't think I killed anyone there. At least I really hope I didn't. Um, man, we're cruising. Uh, there's a split decision there. We could have gone to the dungeon. Um, the reason why I didn't is because we don't have full health or anything. Yeah, that's something we're kind of looking for. Because we've opened three or four grasses now and haven't found any herbs. And that's our only way to get herbs besides the shop, really. There we go, there's one. We have Potion Brewer, so if we could start pulling a few more herbs, we could uh, be in a much better situation. Okay, let's see if we can get up to... Maybe we should be collecting trees, just so we can buy HP pots in the shop. Probably be a good decision. Because we're not going to be able to purchase that bigger HP pot, I don't think. Yeah, there's no way. 50 and it's 90. Okay, oh, we can get this one and heal up a little bit more. Okay, now uh, what are we looking for in the dungeon? We're looking for chests, mainly, I think. Ooh, and that. That's good. That's real good. Uh, we don't care about this gold very much. Uh, we do a little bit, but not enough to uh, risk our lives over it. Some crazy dodge in there. Got to do a little bit of focus. Okay. And we almost killed someone there. Would have been bad. Great blade handle. We got three diamondite blades. Okay. Dodge. 
We're getting sniped by the boss. Um, boom. Boom. Oh, there's an HP pot. Come on. Okay, this... Usually this would be worth it to stop and get that, but in this very specific instance, I, I can't see it being worth it. Got this winder. Some of the more important things. Got the mysterious potion. Let's bounce. Okay, this winder, as long as we can get two bugs, will be better. Um, most definitely. Don't need the arrows. Lots of good loot here. Uh, we need the diamond pick. We could make a diamond sword. Right? Yeah, we have a sword hilt. And a diamond axe. And I think that's what we're going to do. Um, obviously we can get better swords than these. Um, but we're looking pretty spicy with those three. Our great blade, our great axe is technically better than this winder right now. Um, but I don't know how much better, you know? And I think the diamond sword might even be better than this winder. So we're going to stick with diamond sword for now. I mean, it's not like we have to kill anything right now. Get a little bit boost there, boost there. Uh, come on, plus 15 HP. Plus 15 mana. You know, you, sometimes you, you get what you get. You don't throw fit. Uh, we throw these out. We don't need our mana potions, really. <sighs> How much more? We need 15 more. I don't, we can't get there, I don't think. We can sell our sticks and hope. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, that'll get us there. Uh, what can we, we need to sell iron? Bam. Oh, wait, no, we need a little bit more. No, what do we do? <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> I went to fly up and I actually bought that iron ore. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Wait, so these guys don't do damage to us, so we don't need to worry about them anymore. See, zero damage. Some HP. Some cooked chicken. That's actually going to be huge for us. Um, don't need the golden chest. Do need that chest down there, though. I, I don't know how to get around this guy. There we go. <laughs> you can hit me all you want. You're not going to do anything. Um, can't get this diamond knight. Uh, obviously it will be useful for us if we can, like, get HP potions to pair it up with. Okay. If we can, use this guy's, like, arrow shots to get those little invisibility frames. Also, now that the boss is on us, we can't really just sit around. Because he's going to start sniping us with fireballs. And they'll each do four damage. That's not really something I want to deal with. I don't think they even... That was bad. That was so bad. I don't think they even stop at any place. Okay. Uh, get this. I think I'll save this big mysterious potion. Uh, sword hilt. We don't need. We do need that diamondite bar. Actually, we can make a piece of diamondite armor now. I think gold is going to be obsolete, so I'm just going to sell it off. Dexterity is unimportant for us at the moment. Um, yeah. Just looking for bugs, really. If we could get some more bugs, that'd be great. Is there anything we can sacrifice for a little bit more money? We could, oh, we can sell this. Please give us three. That'd be awesome. Oh, two. We could take off our armor. It's just giving us plus four attack, and we don't need the attack right now. by this guy and he help a little bit let's keep it moving keep it grooving looking for plants looking for those rocks that are a little bit less guarded than that uh like these boom boom give us that diamondite please and then let's hop out of here Probably. Oh, did we get hit there? Couldn't really tell. I think we did. I think we took one damage somehow. And then let's go here. C 
because I think they're, if you, oh, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. I just killed a chicken. <sighs> okay, well, I, I doubt this is going to work, but let's see if that counts as our one enemy, because I saw someone still defeat the Scourge Wall while killing an enemy and get the achievement. Um... And there's two enemies. Great. Uh, that's definitely gonna make us lose. Here we come, Scourge Wall. Here we come. <laughs> I just don't understand. Uh, boom. Can we get two hits off on these? Or we get hit. Yep. We just need one more of those fragments, and then we can do a little bit of damage to the boss. One, two. Okay, if we get to a safe spot, uh, we can craft these. How are we supposed to craft these if there's mobs around us at all times? If it wasn't for these flying guys, this level would actually be so easy. Just needs to die. Comes a scourge well. I guess we'll just go try to mine some more of these. One, two. One, two. Um. One, two. C can I get around this guy, please? Yeah, there we go. One, one, two. Okay. One, two. Let's just see if those flying guys stop chasing us. Maybe? No. There's still one on us. Think we can get through here? Yeah. Nice. How? I don't. I just don't understand how we're supposed to fight the Scourge while dodge all these enemies at the same time. I already have my handful of dodging these guys. I need to. Here's what. I need to bait them over here. And then I need to fly down and get to a safer spot where they won't attack me. Go over here. I just need... Boom, boom. Oh, okay, okay. We're not dead, we're not dead, we're not dead. We're dead now. With those crystalline shards, we could have done 750 damage. Still wouldn't have been enough to take him out. That's all I'm saying. How are we supposed to get lucky enough? To get like we get his winder or something let's say but then at the same time not take out any other enemies I don't understand that I we could use spawn zombie on the boss and that kill him quick but we can't let anything get in the way of him you know because in theory we what we do is we go six HP for magic where is it where are you at? Where are you at? 6 HP for magic. There you are. And then we go intellectual. Or intellect. Um, and defensive. And basically pull out the same punch that our, we did with our no damage run. Except we don't kill anything. I just, I don't know how that's going to be. Plausible even. You know? We can take damage, but... <laughs> this, would, this would be the only difference between this and a no damage run, is we can... Take damage. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Sweet. Uh, okay. This being said, though, when we have this beard on, we, we're still going to take a lot of... We're going to take more damage than we would if... Uh, Cut it off. So basically what we have to do is get to the boss with taking very little damage. Um, turn around after we get to the boss and kill the Scourge Wall without hitting any other enemies. So here... I was going to say I have a plan for that, but not really. We'd have to take him out basically before we get to enemies that are on the ground. Um, 
at all. Is this possible? Why do they give us stuff like this? Seriously. Um, yeah, we'd have to get to the scourge wall. And then I, my zombies would have to go into a place where there's no people on the ground. Um, same time, I'd be dodging all these flying enemies. Um, they have to do a lot of damage to start. Maybe get to a safer spot where there's no enemies on the ground. And then take him there again. I, I don't think we're going to be able to take him out in one fell swoop. That's the deal. We're going to have to... It's going to be very strategic. And... I don't know. I just feel like we're going to end up taking out more enemies. You know? Maybe taking out enemies with spawn zombie doesn't count, which would be great. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. Let's bait this bee out of here. Come here. You know you want me bee. Okay. Um, here. A little puzzle almost. There we go. There's the bee. There is a little line right there, a little window we can get through. Being said, I don't know how possible it is to... Oh, dang it. Yeah, I panicked. We almost made it. See, that would have been trouble if that was a no damage run. But luckily, this run, we can take a little bit of that damage. Even though, realistically, we can't because... We can only get hit twice by the Scourge Wall, three times by flying enemies. Nothing too good there. District 8. Uh, I am a little afraid to go into dungeons, you know. I don't want to take a damage. Any place where you can take a damage, I almost feel it's just a bad idea. You know? Even if it does have some reward you can reap out of it, if you do take that 8 damage, you're pretty much screwed for the boss fight. Right as I say that, we get a dungeon. Great. Okay, just gotta be careful. Go down here. Hopefully the mini boss doesn't spawn in. He's basically the biggest pain. Ooh, also, we need to stop taking Intellect. Um, because we don't need to take Intellect. Uh, we, we will never run out of uh, MP while fighting the boss. We got nothing good, as far as I can tell. Or at least nothing usable. It's all good in its own right, it's just not necessary for our situation. There's this winder. Uh, let's drop some stuff. Boom. 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 Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to pick a bunch of it up. A lot of gold chests, but I mean, honestly, we wouldn't have gotten anything super good out of them, so I'm not too salty about passing them up. And obviously we're gonna go there. Okay, we have six health to heal. We got some... We make a diamond sword, which wouldn't really help us any. Probably Zwinder's better, because it has longer reach against that boss. Uh, do we have any bugs we can buy? No. Well, we have a lot to sell. Um, keep all of our raw materials, just for the heck of it. Throw these in here. Could have technically put that ring on. It wouldn't have done much for us though. So I'm just like meh. Keep on moving. More important to keep our momentum up than to uh, spend time looking for uh, looking for resources that might give us a slight edge, you know. As long as I can keep my head in the game, I think we'll be fine. Got an herb. What we really need are bugs. You know, we could make a net if we want to go all out and get bugs that way. But it, oh, it seems just so unreliable. And it's not, it's not going to be our main way to deal damage. 
you know. So 18 out of 19. We we have HP potions to heal ourselves if need be. So we just need to be be level headed. That was a close one. Get this guy down here. Another herb. That could be good. Should have got Potion Brewer in place of an elect. Now that I think about it. But what's done is done. Okay. 40. Can we manage that? I don't know. We cannot manage 40. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, give us this, and then we need to actually just run out of this dungeon. We're so greedy. Too greedy. There are so many chests, though. I mean, come on. You blame me? Lightning bug. Unfortunately, we're going to have to skip it, because we decided to gorge ourselves on those chests. Big mysterious book. Why not? Why not? We can actually dodge, like, a beast. Didn't take any damage here <laughs> somehow. <laughs> That was incredible. Um, saw these. Um, make ourselves another big potion. Getting real close to the boss. The game plan is just get to a spot where we don't kill anyone and spawn a bunch of zombies in. I don't think that's a great plan. But that's what we're working with right now. District 19, another dungeon. Can we fly? Yeah, we can fly over him. Just keep moving. Uh, I, was that the mini boss at the beginning? I couldn't tell. Take this one. Nice. That's what we want. Total biscuit. Another total biscuit. Oh my goodness. Look at us. We are the luckiest people. And herbs. Ooh, they just want us to survive at this point. I think that's two total biscuits. Yeah, nice. Look at this. Plus 6 HP. And a ton of mana. Not to mention. Okay. Well. Got 3 big HP potions. And basically tank half of our life right now. Um, Almost enough to make a armor piece. It, not that it would help us too much. You know. Uh, and big mysterious potions. Which are hit or miss. I guess I never miss. Okay. So, hope just for flying enemies at the start. Anything on the ground over here? I'm going to go ahead and scan. Nothing on the ground. So what we do is we fly up to bait these guys up. Uh, we don't want them to be on the ground, these flying enemies. Because if, if they're on the ground, then they're killable. Please don't kill that flying enemy. He doesn't deserve it. Okay. Um... And then we spawn a bunch down here. We gotta just be in the pocket. Get 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 in the pocket. Okay. 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 Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Heal up. Heal up. No zombie. Zombie. Don't. Don't. Zombie. Zombie. Don't. Okay. I'm not on the screen. That kill didn't count. That's my new rule. That's my new rule. I'm not on the screen. It doesn't count. Never happened. Jeez, okay. Um, this is a great spot right here. Bait these guys away. Just need to wait till the scourge wall comes. Which could be any minute now. Please don't shoot at different times. Please shoot all at once so it's easier on my life. Okay, don't take out the flying enemies now. Okay, we need to... Oh, dang it! I didn't realize it did six damage. Oh, no. Try one more run. This is such a hard challenge to do by yourself. Um, it's just spider webs and mushrooms. Hello. <laughs> Probably should have taken damage there, but hopefully you didn't. Okay. And we're good. Maybe not the right room to go into. But nonetheless, we're here now. Okay. 
Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 bum. Ooh, we need that. Yeah, we want that. Got this winder. Honestly, it's whatever. The game comes down to how much zombies we can spawn in a safe spot. You can get lucky with it, and how good our dodging skills are, which, you know, sometimes are amazing. Other times, you get to a part where you're just like, I have to dodge eight enemies for five minutes. And that's just not really plausible. Also, very bad damage there. Shouldn't have happened. Um, I don't know what that one came down to. Room, where are we? We're over here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that fire bug. Next time we try this challenge, if we don't make it this time, which it's not looking like it after we took all that damage, um, we're we should try getting like a uh, maybe go back to the spirit and then just chop a bunch of trees, um. And then use that money to uh, buy a ton of stuff from the shop. Because I we get more, get more, uh, get more HP potions. It's just, oof. We we still need the. No, we can't really do the anything else. We need the spawn zombie to take out the end boss. Taking him out in any other way, without. Like, without dexterity, dexterity's not really plausible. And without the spawn zombie, it's just kind of ridiculous. Okay, that one shouldn't hit us. Yeah, that one was a mimic. I think we have two rings of wisdom. I think that should have been a ring of power, not a ring of wisdom. I'm not going to sit here and judge him about it. Um, Zwinder. Okay, we need that lightning bug. It's the last thing we do. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Minotaur. <laughs> I think you uh, went the wrong way there, but fine by me. A lot of magic. We got a total biscuit, which is going to kill us up a little bit. Ooh, should have changed over our loadout to be more potion-based, but... Hmm. Good dodges there. And another dungeon. Maybe we just become dungeon crawlers and forget about this game. We'll go play a different game. <laughs> no, no, we're stuck here. And there's that's death. That is death. Okay. Well, it's literally death. It's a flying skeleton. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next episode.